Hey YouTube, it's Razkid, and I don't know if I'm explaining this video well or correctly, but I will put another video showing a better explanation on how to do this, but I wanted to do it because I actually have it working on my Windows 11 here, but I'm going to show you how to use multi-control tools for any computer, basically Windows, okay? So I'm going to put each step and step by step in here provided by XDA, you know, thank you to Smittle and everyone that's you know helped with this is pretty dope um i have this on my laptop and my desktop and it works for both you know in theory by the end of this video you should be able to have multi-control enabled on to your samsung device here um first things first i'll show you on how it works for me and then we'll we'll go from there um so first things first as you can see it's going to find it here um if i do this it's gonna get weird no worries i'll show you how it works and we'll go from there all right uh now that i did that it's kind of weird like like when i tell you that it takes a little while for it to pop up there we go so now uh let me full screen this uh full screen full screen that just works all right as you can see my mouse i move it over my mouse is here now you can see i can move it down there we go my mouse for my pc in here i can even type too i can even type so i'm gonna go here i'm gonna show you how i can type up top for my keyboard here me typing it all works all right so anyway we're gonna get to that and we're gonna go from there okay so first things first um first things first here you're gonna want to go to the microsoft update catalog okay and once you go there it's going to take you to all these if you have windows 10 you're going to go to the first link here okay if you have windows 11 you're going to go to the second link it's going to say windows 10 and windows 11 i'm on windows 11 so you're going to download this here okay it's going to go here you're going to download the samsung component all right it's going to have this like like this big file thing here we're going to open all right, and then once you have all these, you're gonna wanna make a folder into your C drive here. So our C drive folder, I already have one here, but uh, so you're gonna go to your C drive and you're gonna wanna go to, you're gonna create a folder called Sam Sys Sup SVC. Once again, it's gonna be in the description there. So once you do that, you're gonna create this folder and drag all of these files from the file you just downloaded into this folder here the sam sys up uh service video okay and then once you do that with sub folder oh my goodness i suck okay so once you do that right you'll go from here and then you're going to go to the uh device manager and you're gonna go to other devices and then you're going to set the community message app as the actual driver from the thing we just picked up here okay so I, i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about here so for some strange odd cornball reason i have more than just one okay so i'm just going to do whatever so we're going to go here we're going to go to properties you know what i'm saying you're going to go to driver and then you're going to go to uh you're just going to make sure it's there let me see uh but where is it at update driver i think it's update yes you're going to go to browse your computer and you're going to make sure it goes there um browse Make sure it's on this Sam sub service thing on your C drive. You're gonna hit OK. You're gonna hit next. Could not find advice for your driver. What in the world? Hold on. Okay, hold on, aliens. Okay, it might be because I already have it here. I totally forget, y'all. Hold on. Let me see. Uh it should be it should have been that. Yeah. Hold on. So I do this. Go here. Driver update browse let me see let me pick from it they got the samsung one here it should be like other there we go there we go there we go have disk that there we go there we go there we go okay so okay sorry 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 all right so go to update driver it's over here browse for your computer 
let me pick next you have the disc it is going to go there again okay and then where you're going to go to since you're already in the folder you're going to go to the sub 4 sw comp 15 okay then you're going to get it okay then it's going to say samsung system support service okay you're going to hit next you're going to hit yes it's going to install now mine is already installed so it may break it install the driver anyway we don't care all right so now that's on there good stuff good stuff you could do it for every single one of them but i guess you really only need one but you know why not let's just do it again real quick i only did one before but you know I i'm gonna show you how janky this is gonna be even though it works for me y'all it works for me but this is still a janky thing remember you need a samsung product for this you know what i'm saying but we don't care we're we're window warrior so here we are okay so now that we did that okay you're gonna want to uh, it said it, it should start installing samsung settings and cloud storage uh sync but if that doesn't work y'all we're gonna have to run this link which uh you can do it from i think you can do it like this uh yeah, you can just go to your web browser and put it up on top of the link there and it's going to uh, go to the windows store here there you go and then you're going to install the samsung settings from here and then you can hit open um another thing is so once you do that the samsung settings here will pop up here all right and then once you do that it, everything should pop up here um you don't have to it's supposed to show multi control but trust me like i said you don't have to this is this is not accurate at all um so once you do that it should say multi control but it's probably not so you're going to x out of it okay and then you're going to want to go back to your device manager and then you're going to want to uninstall the samsung support service it's it's the weirdest thing ever and as you can see it's still working for me um so whenever that thing pops up on the side that's when it works so you're going to want to uninstall that system now i gotta find it here hold on one second okay so it's just exactly how it is so where what we're talking about is you're just going to go back to the continue continuity uh message thing right here you're just going to uninstall them both okay so go to your software components and then uninstall uh uninstall this one remove and then you're gonna do the same thing again to the other one whatever that is uh what <laughs> wherever that is right uh shoot oh yeah back software component uninstall it again watch it not work for me after i just worked it for y'all i'll fix it again later on but this is the steps so once you do that now you have to download a program called hex editor okay i've already uh installed it and it's right here but i'm gonna put it in the link description below yet again you're gonna go to file then you're gonna go to open and then you're gonna look for the application inside that sam system sub server in your local c drive here okay then once you do that you're gonna want to go to samsung system uh where is it Sam samsung system support service where the heck so that's right here okay so we're in here so now you're gonna want to uh find the offset of zero xc3 uh, let me see here i know you go up to view and then you go to oops you go to search and you go to go to uh let's see current offset i think that's what it is yeah, current offset or begin and then you'll go to zero x oops zero x c what in the world hold on y'all okay sorry this guy was like drunk when he wrote this bro all right, so you're gonna type in six eight one four zero. I might just be stupid though. Okay, then it's gonna take you down here to one six eight one four zero. It's gonna show two zeros. You're gonna want to change it to zero x c three. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just dumb. Okay, it's just c three there. So let's put that again. We're gonna go to c three. So go to six eight one four. Okay and you're gonna type in uh c what does that say c3 why does it say that for no oh, it won't let me do it okay it says process being used by another process it's probably because i already have it open but yo type c3 
okay and once that's done you're gonna want to hit save okay hit save right here under file oops under file save that okay then x out of it okay you're all good there and then you're going to want to create a, a command prompt here okay um so you're going to want to go to the start menu cmd and you're going to want to run this as admin okay you're going to run it as and then you're going to want to put this in okay now i already have it created yet again but once you do that just do uh copy the description that i have here paste it okay it's already failed because it already exists but trust me once you do it the first time it doesn't exist so once you do that then you can reboot and then check connected devices and multi-control should be there if it's not there no worries it's still going to be on there and it's still going to be working for you um it's going to pop up on the bottom here as multi-tools make sure you go to the bottom and it should be connected the phone as you can see mine is connected here so it's working and it should still be working so i'm gonna go to my phone here and i'll go back over here to this screen and like i said as you can see wait is it over there as you can see it still works my mouse is still there I know this is the most bootleg tutorial ever, but hey, I just want to share everything with you guys. Um, Y'all mean the world to me. If there's something that I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I I just want to get help with. If I can make better tutorials, I got y'all. If you got better tools for me, let me know. Things like that. We're definitely going to snap. You already know, man. If you have any other questions, just let me know. If for some reason something's not working, like you, you went to the device manager and you didn't see the community... Uh, let's see let's say you go to device manager right and you didn't see the community thing and the other devices right make sure it's not under your hidden devices go to show hidden devices make sure your computer can connect to bluetooth make sure you connect your your phone to bluetooth make sure you have the usb drivers installed here you know what i'm saying if you want a video on how to prep your phone for this you know let me know uh what else i don't know what else to think about but, um, I mean, if you have any other questions, just let me know. I am here. Let's get it. Let's go. And if my tutorial doesn't help, I'm going to link this man's XDA stuff and his video on there. Prof to them. They helped me. I'm just trying to help you all now. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm going to see you on the next episode. Peace.